to go. <laughs> Welcome to Dine and Design, brought to you by Cranberry and Sage of Vermont. I am your host, Stephanie Kathan, and tonight we have a fabulous Mexican dish going on. It's a very quick, easy, inexpensive Mexican dinner. We are making homemade burritos and tacos. So I have some ground beef. What I'm going to do is open up this package of ground beef right here, and I'm going to start browning that. And then while that is browning, I'm going to cut up our lettuce, tomato, onion, and get that ready. And our taco shells are already put out and ready to go in the oven when that's preheated. So I'm going to take my frying pan. And I start everything about medium high. And this is a pretty big package, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take about half of that. Probably about a pound and a half of hamburger. You can get away with a pound, but there's going to be four really hungry people here, so I want to do about a pound and a half at least. So that is on. I'm going to wrap up this leftover hamburger and put that in the refrigerator. We don't want to leave stuff out because at this time of year there's fruit flies all around a lot. There's all sorts of creatures that can fly in your food. So we just want to wrap this up. I'm going to put it in the fridge and start chopping up our vegetables. So I got a head of lettuce here, and what I'm going to do is take a knife out, and I'm just going to cut a portion of the head right off. And then shred it. Very quick and easy, and just strips, and then I kind of cube it up a little bit, because you want it to be in small pieces for the burritos and the tacos. You don't want big pieces of lettuce. And there's lots of variations that you can do with this stuff. You can make taco salads. You can um, take your burritos once they're made and put them in the oven and put salsa over them and bake them a little bit and let cheese melt over them. That's a really good fun thing to do. So our lettuce is going to go right in this bowl. That doesn't quite look like enough. These big white pieces are very bitter, so you want to avoid those if you can. Chop up a little bit more lettuce. And usually even with four hungry people the next day as well, So there is our lettuce all chopped up. We're going to move right on to our tomato. I usually just cut out the top part in a circle. That way you don't have to lose a whole slice. And just the very end. Cut it in half. And then I slice it. And then it makes it easier to cube up. Because you got to remember, you don't want big chunks. You're putting them in taco shells and in burritos. So you want small, nice pieces of tomato. Very good. This tomato is a nice, juicy tomato. And always, of course, if you can, um, get your fruits and vegetables at your local fruit stand. They always taste so much better coming out of the garden and they're nice and juicy and fresh. And that, of course, is the ideal taste to have. And kids, I tell you, love tacos and burritos. It's, my kids are older now, 21 and 17, but always this is a big hit. They always love it when I make these. So if I want a sure thing that's going to be good, this is it. And it's very easy. Okay, we've got some nice pieces of tomato and our lettuce. And I'm going to set these right over here out of the way. And move on to our onion. I find the easiest way to peel an onion is to cut off one end 
and then kind of tear down the side. And it just makes it much easier and there's no tears. And you kind of have something to hold on to also. So we want to slice the onion and then cut it into small pieces. You want nice small bite-sized pieces to go inside the top of the burrito. Big pieces like this don't work out so good. Or so they tell me. I don't mind them. I like big pieces like that. But. Cut up. And unless everybody loves onion, that is plenty. So, okay. Our stuff is all prepped and ready to go. I'm going to give our hamburger stir over here. That's browning nicely. This meal probably takes 20 minutes top to bottom to get it completely done. So it is a really fun, fast meal that everybody loves. And we're also making um, Mexican rice to go with this. It's a really nice accompaniment and you can get these fiesta sides. Usually 10 for a 10, whether it's Price Chopper or Shaw's, that's, they may go $1.29 or whatever. Tonight we're having Mexican rice, and I thought I had to cut it. Oh, I do. So I'm going to turn our water on to boil. You need one and three quarter cups for each package, and I'm making two packages, so you double that. Turn my water on, and then we can put the, wa the um, rice packages right in. You don't have to wait for the water to boil. And all the goodness is already in there. There's no other packets that you have to worry about. So you dump everything in. And then they tell you that you can add butter or margarine. It's optional. I always choose to not. Um, but you can. Feel free to do that if you'd like. Now what we have to go with this stuff for our burrito wraps are these Chi Chi's flour tortillas. But you can get any kind that you like. These are um, probably six inches across, and they hold a nice amount of food. And you can get eight of these, and you fill them really big. So one is a really good meal. Two is an exceptional meal. And then we have our taco shells which I've already put on a cookie sheet and I prepared to go. And when I was taking them out of the package, a couple of them broke, but that's okay. Um, put them in the oven anyway because you can crackle them up and put it on top of for taco salad or whatever. You don't have to throw it away just because it's broken. Our oven is preheated, so I'm going to stick these in here and they don't have to be in there very long. Our meat is browning nicely. Our rice is going to begin to boil shortly. We're going to have a word from our sponsors, and we'll be right back to see who's going to win this week's gift certificate for $25 from Cranberry and Sage of Vermont. Be right back. Welcome back to Diamond Design. I'm your host, Stephanie Kathan. Our Mexican rice is ready, our hamburger is ready, and I'm going to build a burrito. So I have our shell here. I've lined it with shredded cheese, and I'm going to put some of the hot meat on there because that's what's going to make the cheese melt. So I'm going to put that on there like that, load it on really good, and then just put our other toppings on. And throw some lettuce on there, a few chunks of tomato, some onion, salsa, and sour cream. And we have a burrito. Now the magic to it is rolling it up. If you tuck in the sides and kind of push... You want to make sure you get all of that in and then roll it under. There you go. We have rice and a beautiful dinner. So from Dine and Design, I'm your host Stephanie Kathleen. Bon appetit.